So I am overdue for a um, vlog. And please ignore the orange around my mouth. <laughs> this is terrible. I drank a drink and it stained my mouth. It's one of those Mio drinks. Delicious. If you're having trouble getting water down, I highly recommend the Mio drink. Anyway, if you're new here, my name is Tara. Call me Tara J. And I am on a mission to be fit by my 50th birthday. Yesterday was the 49th birthday. So I am 364 days till 50. And I have about, well, in any case, I'll get to that. So my name's Tara. I live on Long Island. I'm a mom of three. I am, have a great husband, two dogs, a cat, and I am a district manager of a franchise. That's what I do and who I am. I'm on this weight loss journey. I am utilizing a tool called Saxenda. It is a medication that is prescribed to me by my bariatric doctors. I follow up with them monthly. We go over my progress. I meet with a nutritionist. All good stuff. I'm doing great. My doctor had me titrate up weekly. Some people's doctors have them go slower. I went weekly and I've been very successful um, up until yesterday. No, I'm just kidding. So yesterday was my birthday and I'm trying, I'm also using in combination with Saxenda, I'm using Noom, which I'm loving. So if you're interested, Noom is awesome. And if you're on Saxenda and you're watching this, you get it for free for a year. Anyway, I went out to dinner for my birthday yesterday and I still made better choices about what I ate. Um, I didn't necessarily eat what I would call a diet conscious food, but I still made a better choice and I enjoyed it. I ended up having salmon in a gorgonzola sauce. Um, I hadn't really eaten anything that day. I had a protein shake, a 15 gram of protein shake, like 90 calories, but I really wasn't hungry. I've actually not been hungry for the last week and a half at all, almost two weeks now. Um, so I make myself eat my meals because I have to eat, but I'm never hungry anymore. And I found out a trick and that is the reason I'm not hungry. So if you're in a place where you're finding yourself needing to change things up because you're still feeling hungry on Saxenda, switch where you put the injection. That's what I did. I went from putting it in my stomach to putting it in my leg. I put it in my thigh now and it has made a world of difference when it comes to how I feel. I was so surprised that that made such a difference, but it did. I mean, I suppose it could be psychological, but whatever, it's working. And again, this orange, please ignore it. So I did have a really good birthday. My husband built my craft cabinet because it was delivered the day before from Ikea. I organized everything, got some more bins for it. And then we went to dinner. Oh, and I did decide to have dessert, but not at the restaurant. At the restaurant, we were looking at the chocolate flourless cake, but I was like, it's not what I really want. So instead, I said to my husband, I'd like to stop on the way home. I want to buy some break and bake cookies, and I want you to bake me those cookies for my birthday. And he did. And I had three cookies, and I put all my food into my, my chart. Um, on Noom as best I could. And I still came in as a calorie deficit. So then why did I gain weight? Well, I'll tell you. That cream sauce was pretty heavy. The cheesy gorgonzola cream sauce, it was really heavy. Probably had stuff in it that my body is not used to. So it, including a lot of salt, it definitely had to have a lot of salt in it. So I'm thinking that I'm retaining some water, so I'm being very, very good about getting my water in today because that'll help and flush everything out. Do I expect to be two pounds down tomorrow since I was two pounds up? No. Am I going to starve myself or work out like a fiend to make up for those two pounds? Also, no. It's not necessary. This is life. In life, we are going to be faced with days where our diet I hate using that word, but our diet veers off of our normal course. That's okay. You don't have to punish yourself afterwards. 
Maybe it'll take the whole week to get those two pounds off. But you know what? It was my birthday. We went out to dinner and I enjoyed what I ate. I'm not going to punish myself for that. And when you do stuff like that, you shouldn't punish yourself either. Enjoy it. And if it takes you the whole week to get it off, it takes you the whole week to get it off. The important thing is that you enjoyed what you had and you moved forward and you continued on your plan. In fact, I don't believe that you should use food as a punishment or a reward. So that being said, I didn't reward myself with that beautiful meal that I ate or those cookies I ate. I just enjoyed things I wanted to enjoy because we were having a good day and it was my birthday and I wanted to have something I enjoyed. Do I not enjoy my food normally? Actually, I do. I just enjoy different, healthier foods normally. I don't eat a lot of cheese and I definitely don't eat a lot of dessert. But part of Noom is they talk to you about incorporating things into your diet that you love, like cookies, brownies, whatever it is, right? You can either do a tiny bit, not a tiny bit, but you can have a cookie, two cookies, let's say, three times a week, or instead you could save it up and have a piece of cake on Saturday when you go out to eat. It's really your choice. I could have had that cake, but if I was going to eat calories like that, I wanted the calories to be something I was really going to enjoy, and that was what I felt like having. I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel guilty about it. I'm happy that I had it. It felt good. It, it almost recharged me to like do that. And it was a huge mindset and learning process thing for me. Like I, It's all about the mindset and changing the way I do things. Because so often in the past, I have eaten something out of the plan and then been so unmotivated afterwards, like, well, I already messed everything up, so I'm just going to eat whatever I want to eat. Because it's over now. I messed up. The diet's over. Not this time. This time I feel good about what I had. I don't have any guilt. I feel great. I'm excited that I had it. And I'm also excited to be right back on track today because I'm doing this for my body, for my health, for me. Didn't work out extra hard today to make up for it or anything like that. In fact, I didn't even not eat anything last night. When I got hungry later on in the day because we had an early dinner, I had a snack. Nothing wrong with it. I was hungry. And I'm trying to do more of that intuitive thing anyway. But on to the fact that I am now on the countdown to 50. I am determined to be under 200 pounds by my 50th birthday, which is not that much weight for me to lose, I'm being honest. But it's enough, and I have plenty of time to do it, and I will do it. Hopefully, probably, definitely, I'll be there faster than by my birthday. And then I can set a new goal for by my birthday. And to go over a little bit about what I've been talking about all week on my TikToks, if you follow my TikTok, is I've been talking about this whole mindset thing and really trying to get myself into a good place or a better place. And Noom is definitely helping with that, um, making me rethink things. And just sometimes, in some cases, really just giving me the language for the process I have to go through. I don't, I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but it's kind of how it is. And, um, and I do, I'm doing that and I'm, I am looking at things differently and I'm, I'm doing more than hoping if that makes sense. And it's really going well. Um, I'm excited about it. I love talking to you guys about it, but I'm doing things like changing things up. Like realizing that I am less hungry when I put it in my leg. It doesn't matter if it's in my mind because it's working. Trying to eat um, foods that are more nutrient dense for the calories than less nutrient dense because that also will help keep me full. Really keeping myself to high protein, especially since I have no appetite and I'm not really eating that much. In fact, right now, I'm finding myself having to force myself to eat meals. And on the days I just really don't want to eat, I have a protein shake. But even that, sometimes I can't finish. And after a two-week stall, which is, I think, what I talked about in my last vlog, I went on to lose eight pounds in 10 days. Eight pounds in 10 days! Doesn't get better than that. So if you're still here and you've stayed along and watched this whole video, I thank you. I hope you will continue to follow me on my accounts on TikTok and Instagram and here on YouTube. 
Um, I try and keep the content fresh everywhere. Try not to, you know, obviously here on YouTube, I can talk more and talk more about how I'm feeling and that sort of thing. I, by the way, I am still having the side effect of, um, being very tired, still working on the constipation issue. It's getting better because I'm really using different medications to help it like aloe and magnesium and, Docalax, eating two prunes a day. I'm really working on that, but I am still feeling side effects, but I still overall feel good. But I'm also much more deeply affected by cold than I was when I wasn't on the medication. But again, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for being a part of this with me. Thank you if you're cheering me on. Um, even just watching the video and look, I can see my views and following me on here is hugely supportive. And it really helps me to stay accountable. So I apologize for not getting on here um, in a while. I need to be better about that. I'm going to try and update twice a week now that I'm really in the countdown to 50. Plus, I post all my shorts from YouTube. Um, but again, I thank you and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.